There's a strong, strong spirit in this place, and I know it is the presence of the Lord. There are sad expressions on each face, and I know it is the presence of the Lord. Oh, sweet heavenly spirit, sweet heavenly dove, Stay right here with us, fill us with your love, and for each blessing, we will hold our hearts in prayer, without a doubt we know this being revived, when we Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. It is with the deepest of regrets that I have to announce the passing of former Third World member Michael Ebo Cooper, founding member of the reggae legendary band Third World, has died. Close family friend Colleen Douglas confirmed his passing late Thursday evening to the Weekend Star and issued a statement from Cooper's family. Renowned musician and educator Kingsley Michael Ibo Cooper died peacefully earlier this evening after a brief illness. Ibo's contribution to music and culture was immeasurable. His children remember him as a remarkable human being with a magnanimous spirit and light, the statement said. It was only two weeks ago that Cooper's wife, Joy, passed away suddenly, and six months ago that his son, Arif, made his transition. Among those sending condolences after Joy's passing, was Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sports, Olivia Grange. Arif, who was a music producer and a radio broadcaster for the RGR Cleaner Communication Group, passed away in March. He was playing at a party on Oak Road when he reportedly had a seizure and collapse. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Cooper a keyboardist, and Stephen Cat Core, a guitarist, Shellis, formed Third World in 1973. According to Wikipedia, both had received formal training at different music schools run by their aunt and mother, respectively, in Jamaica, and both had played around the Kingston reggae scene before joining the original line up of Inner Circle around 1968, when they left to form their own band. Third World made its debut with the self-produced single Railroad Track in 1974. When the Jackson 5 came to Jamaica later that year, they supported the sibling group in their performance at the National Stadium. Chris Blackwell of Island Record signed the band and offered them a record deal and a chance to go on a European tour on which they opened for the Whalers. Their debut album, Third World was released in 1976, but the band's big break came the following year with the release of the album 96 Degrees in the Shade. Cooper, who left the group more than a decade ago, was a senior lecturer at the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts in Kingston. In 2005, he was honored with an Order of Distinction from the government for his contribution to the development of Jamaican music.
Michael Kingsley Kibo Cooper. I just want to offer my personal condolences to your family, sir. And I just want to say that you came and you saw and you conquered. You have lived a great life. You have set a great example to your children. And we want to say thank you for a job well done. Today, as we mourn your loss, we join with your family and your many fans scattered right across the world in saying that you came, you saw, and you definitely conquered. Ibo, as you're affectionately called by many, you will be missed, sir, and you've earned your wings, and you're flying all the way in Zion. We love you then, we love you now, and we will forever hold you dear and close. Was. Thank you, sir. Thank you for a remarkable journey. Thank you for making this little piece of rock a magnificent part of your history. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Kingsley, Ebo Cooper is dead. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time for you to do so. Thank you so much for watching.